Um, the Abule Lam Tinislalo. Um, greetings uh, to the family first. Family Agam Kutuka, no mama, no tata. Um, the cousins and everybody from the Mkutukane family. Uh, greetings to the Premier of uh, the Eastern Cape and the chairperson of the ANC, Comrade Oscar Mabuyane, Comrade Zizi Gotwa, and NEC member and the Minister of Arts and Culture, Manbuli Semshegas. My chairperson, Comrade Panyaza Lusufi, who is the Premier of Gauteng. Uh, thank you very much. All MECs who are here, the Anibuli Sanonke, Manbuli Sabandu Base Pumlan, the Timoluen Ban Base Pumlan. I want to greet all the pastors who are here. Siabulela, a Samonesi Fumana Yokuni, Nestrinisa Kaguji, we become stronger. I have a very long history with this client. Uh, of our music industry. Let me greet all the musicians who are here, the Anbuli Sanani, musicians, producers, different political parties who are here in Anbuli Sanonke, Amabandla, and all the choirs who are here. Bulelwa Mkutukane Spinach. It's 2009, recession time. A friend of mine called Songe Zomchongile, who was a youth league leader and the provincial secretary of the Western Cape, invites me to a place called Talamanka. In the Oya Konage, I own all the way to Oyan. And uh, a guy called Mvo Zomchongile. Songe Zomchongile, who is a youth league leader, he called in the Nfunuibon. At that time, I really was one of the people who thought, let me leave this music industry thing. I'm tired of it. It took me 30 seconds, 30 seconds to see such a wonderful talent. Immediately, I had vision. I, I saw something extraordinary, chairperson. I saw her performing in big stages. I immediately took a phone and I called my ex-wife. I said, uh, Mrs. Nza, I want us to come back to Eastern Cape. I had a, it was a vision because if I did not do that, for us to stay with a young girl in a house for two years. So I had to convince her. I didn't do much convincing after we came back. She saw the same thing. She said to me, no, I agree. She's something special. But we had to work on the human touch of it because music industry is very rough. You are popular. Everybody sees you and uh, somebody spoke about the demons of the game. Uh, because uh, when you are popular, people have got expectations about you. So we needed to make her strong. We stayed with her in 2010 without recording. 2011, when we believed she was ready, we recorded Zahara. But anyway, before we did that, I went to the family, Lutat and Umam. We called her to Chetileo Apa, what Zahara believed in family. And she believed in her mom and the prayers. We had a meeting not once, but twice. And Gamni Gwangabaz Albaq. But I'm the Nam, I'm the Nam, I'm the Nam, I'm the Nam, I'm those are blessings. We worked on the first album with one of the best producers, comrade, uh, uh, rather, Robi Malinga and Mjali Fateb. They gave us a serious piece of art, something extraordinary. The talent that came with that album, I mean, Zara was a special woman, a special musician. She was a healer. She healed many nations. It's 2011. We dropped the album on the 3rd of, of, of uh, October. Unknown artist 
No artist is selling 20,000 copies. Within two weeks, we were sitting on 100,000. It was a spiritual album. It was talking to people's hearts. Being at Abandu. Abandu, they were buying that album, you know, a person would buy the album for the house, for the car, and so on and so on. Maybe it showed me Zazi Yibala album. Or City Kaushimo to Nidiwe. Because it was giving people hope. It was giving people hope. A lot of people, you know, these are a destiny, Loliwe. Big, big songs. The album went on to win Metro Awards, three of them. And I remember it was him, it was her and AKA were contesting hard, uh, very hard uh, on those metros. And both of them are not here. It's a class of 2011. The people who brought hope back to the music industry. Summer Awards, she made history. She took eight awards. It has never happened in the country. No one has ever done that in the country. That's why. That's why, Comrade Zizi, I want to really appeal to yourselves as a minister of arts and culture. Awards are very important. Awarding artists is very, very important. It's our heritage. We cannot allow some awards to die. And I really believe that you must take it upon yourself so that those who are doing great in the arts are, are being recognized by their nation. Yes, Bulelwa today were able to say she won eight awards of the summers and it will remain part of her history. It can't be that tomorrow we can't say the same thing about other artists who are doing great. So I really want to appeal that it must not be just another thing, Yama artist. It must be something that we cherish as a country and we make sure it survives. She happened to travel the world. We met Simon Stein, a guy who produced Ma uh, Madonna, who wanted to sign Zahara years back. I mean, uh, she performed at Wembley Stadium against the greatest in the, in the world. She went on to sell multi, multiple albums. But beyond anything else, I think she did achieve what she wanted to achieve, which is to touch people's hearts. I think Zahara, more than anything else, she wanted to heal people. And then, and then really she did that. And I really want to thank Abant Basse Pumlani because I think as I knew her for such a long time, Mazange Nambona Evoya, like she did when she went and performed in a small hall there when we came with the awards. And she was very proud of her background and where she comes from. And what it means is that uh, you must take pride of where you come from as a person. That's why she always said in the Puma Ipumlan, the Umdana was a Pumlan. Because she must inspire many young people who are coming from that area. And I think she has done that. Not only in Pumlani and, and in, in many other rural areas. I want to say she was not just a musician to me. And I know that uh, people always believe it was about the transactional issue. She was my younger sister. She was my kid. We loved each other till the last day. And I want to say to Uzahara, Lalango Kolom Dana Sekai, Lalango Kolom Mastatu, we face it in the Mayaku. The tutu ma is in Rosonke. My inga chitla in Gene Kuti City Gwens again, Tony. Kutande Utik. It is God that believes it is time. She has walked her journey. Masim Kululin. Itige yo wa in love. Mosheke inga. When a giant has fallen, because that's how, that's the nature of a giant. No, that, that, I see, find, this is our cure, our mom. In Bilunjal, Masim Kulule Neguzar, and the Sinbulele Bandu Basse South Africa for supporting this woman, this young girl, when she was 23 years old. We really thank all of you for loving her, for giving her support. And thank you very much.